I first heard of Greenbelt when it was still on the drawing board. It was more exciting than any of the church things that were going on at that point. It was a chance to see other musicians share ideas, uh, hear speakers from all over the place. All this sounded really exciting and has continued to be for 40 years. I first came to Greenbelt in 2001 with a group from my university and I've come every year since. I've volunteered from 2003 until 2012 and then this little boy came along in 2013. Uh, so this is my second festival, not as a volunteer but as a mother. I haven't got that many years that I cannot remember going to Greenbelt. Like, we start, I started coming before, you know, before memory began. <laughs> so like, I've always, I've always been here and I've been here every year since, since that started. I've come by myself really, I haven't come with family, but um, lots of people from my church, my friends from church are here. Um, but even outside of that, people seem really friendly and I have got talking to people who I haven't met before. So everyone seems quite open and excited to be here and open to meeting new people. What I love about Greenbelt is that there's always something unexpected that you didn't know was going to happen and uh, they're often the best bits um, about it. There's a play area for the children and uh, do some singing as well. We love the Wild Goose Big Sing that I think we'll all be able to do together. A lot of other festivals you can get as an acoustic act, you can get swallowed in and play really small stages, but here it's just amazing because everybody's here for the music and they truly are here for the music. Um, it's important to me that Greenbelt has this emphasis on being about faith and arts and justice. It's not an emphasis we always get in our churches, so it's good for, for that to happen at Greenbelt and to find that there are lots of people who are interested in how these things work together. Local churches, organisations kind of have a kind of charity mentality about the developing world or about issues elsewhere. But here people are encouraged to think of justice issues in the context of a faith. God is not neutral when people are being mistreated or are being persecuted. The first thing that really cheered me up was how close the campsite was to the festival. Great, because I tend to walk backwards and forwards quite a bit. And the other thing that I've discovered that's really quite nice is that you have to discover places. Everything's hiding behind a tree. There's stuff all over. Go discover. I've never driven in my life. I don't have a licence. So I love train travel and this is therefore very accessible. The thing is, people will complain, but that's because they're Protestants, and Protestants have to protest. And, uh, and I think that, that those who protest should just stop their moaning and enjoy this magnificent sight. Yeah, I feel really at home at Greenbelt. Um, lots of people that we know come all the time, and it's, I found it a really great place to come with a baby. Um, the parent support venue is brilliant um, and just gives you a kind of space to, to relax with the child. Lots of other children around as well and there'll be lots of fun things to do. Greenbell's sort of become to me something like touching base. You tune into it every year just to make sure everyone's still, still alright, everyone's still alive. As more of a newbie, I suppose, I'm just always hearing about all of the great talks that are going to be happening. And I suppose when I didn't come, definitely felt like I was missing out on something. Walking through some of the tents and there's loads of stalls for charities and for different faiths and things. It was just brilliant to see everything come together because I think that music and other art forms are a good way of getting out messages. I, I think the biggest thing that Greenbelt means to me is that it's not taught me what to think, it's taught me how to think. I think, I think what really resonates uh, with me for Greenbelt is uh, the sense of community, of making something brilliant together and of people coming together just for this short time uh, to sort of encourage one another on their life journey and their faith journey. Not only do I feel accepted at Greenbelt, I feel this is my home church. Greenbelt has evolved year after year after year um, and it's reactive, it doesn't stay still, it's flexible, it moves with the times, it's, it's always, and things always change and Greenbelt's reacted to that and changed and had to change um, and I think it's changes for the better. Um, yeah, Greenbelt's been a really important place and event for me for um, 
14 years now in different stages of my life and I hope that it will carry on being that for us and for us as a family in the years to come as well. Barnes Bacon Company has always had a special place in my heart. Their pork and apple burgers are uh, brilliant.